Hi everyone, it's Cass. Welcome back to my channel, What Cass Read. Today, I'm bringing you my OWL's TBR. Some of you might have just heard that sentence and been like, hold up, is it April again? Did I just time travel? The answer is unfortunately no. I have decided that I'm going to sit my OWL's examinations for the month of June, and here's why. I literally didn't read a single book during the entire month of April, so I missed the OWLs entirely. Um, and I was actually pretty saddened by that. It, it just kind of like, I had been in a funk. If you've seen my what I've been up to lately, I don't know what I'm titling it yet. Um, if, you see the, if you've seen that video, then you understand why, but um, I had just been in a bit of a funk. And then I would see all these OWLs, TBRs go up. I didn't want to watch them. I was just like, you know, internalizing all these bad, uh, horrible thoughts that had literally nothing to do with me. You, If you experience depression, you understand what that's like. And finally, I feel like I'm ready to read again and participate in the OWLs. So I picked June because it's like the next full month, but also it has 30 days in it, which is the same as April. So I figured that was a safe month to sit them in because then I would have the same exact amount of time. I know I could change the dates on some other months if I really wanted to, but I feel like June is like a really safe, safe month to do my OWLs with plenty of time to like rest and chill out before the NEWTs. All right, so this is the third year that I have participated in these readathons, which makes me very excited. And when the Magical Careers Handbook came out, of course I read through it. In the past I've gone for horror, in the past I've gone for like magical law enforcement, um, working for the ministry. This year I'm going to pick one of the brand new careers, which sounds super awesome, and I'm going to be going for the librarian. When I read the description, the fact that the librarian is like someone who it's actually like a super dangerous job and you're going to be hunting for all these magical tomes, you work for the Department of Mysteries, like that's who you report to, I was like, I'm sold. Okay, so some of these choices um, fit the prompt. Like these are the exact book that I'm going to read, and some of them are books that I'm, I'm like, We'll see when the time comes which one I actually decide to grab. In order to become a librarian, you need OWLs in Ancient Runes, Arithmancy, Defense Against the Dark Arts, History of Magic, and Transfiguration. That was actually kind of fun for me because like a lot of the previous OWLs I've sat, I've never done Ancient Runes, Arithmancy, or History of Magic. Ancient Runes needs to be a book with a heart on the cover or in the name. This book I just recently bought, but it hasn't arrived yet, and that is Frostheart, written by Jamie Littler. Um, Frostheart is book number one of a new middle grade series, and the only reason why this one was ever on my radar is because of Gavin from How to Train Your Gavin. Absolutely loves this book, loves this series, um, has developed like kind of like a cool fan author relationship with Jamie Littler. Yeah, so I'm pretty stoked for this one. I actually couldn't tell you what it's about. I just am basically picking this one up because of the prompt, but also based off of Gavin's recommendation of a really great middle grade novel to pick up. The second subject is arithmancy. Read something outside of your favorite genre. This is where I've got a couple of choices. The first one uh, that I could pick is Finders Keepers written by Stephen King. So this is like a detective mystery thriller horror situation. Um, it is book number two of the Bill Hodges trilogy and I read book number one last year and really enjoyed it. I'm hoping that I'll enjoy this as well. Bill Hodges is a retired detective. He got pulled out of his retirement um, when he was asked to work on a case as a private investigator. And so this second book, he's working on a total new, totally new case, but he picked up a couple of new colleagues along the way in the first one. So I'm excited to see them all back together um, and excited to see more of what Stephen King has to offer in this world. The next book that I could pick from is The Toll, written by Neil Shusterman. This is book number three of the Ark of the Scythe trilogy. Um, and I, I finished up... Um, gosh, what's the second one's name? Oh my gosh, what's the second one's name? Thunderhead. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> um, I finished Thunderhead in February, and that was actually like the last book I had read before I started reading again um, for the month of May. So Citra and Rowan have disappeared. The world's kind of in shambles. This is going to be the trilogy that wraps everything up. I have seen a couple of reactions and a couple of reviews and wrap-ups of this book, and it kind of saddens me to see that 
this doesn't seem to be the conclusion that everybody had hoped it would be, but I still want to finish it and I still want to see what it's about. Um, so very excited to pick this one up if this ends up being my choice. Another choice that I might go with is Sleeping Giants written by Sylvain Nouvelle. This is the first book in the Themis Files. I have had this trilogy on my shelf for quite a while. Um, this seems to be a pretty easy science fiction read. So I went for either mystery thriller or science fiction for this prompt. And again, we'll see which one I end up going with um, when the time comes. This one is also told, I think, in like an interview style format or maybe some files that go back and forth between people. It's often been said if you liked the Illuminae files, you might like the formatting of this one. So we'll see how this goes. My next prompt uh, and subject was for Defense Against the Dark Arts, a book set at the sea or the coast. So I actually utilized the um, recommendations list that G put on her website. And so I ended up going with Six of Crows written by Lee Bardugo as my pick for this. So this is a very solid pick that I'm going to use for Defense Against the Dark Arts. This is book number one of the Six of Crows duology. I actually literally this week just finished the Grisha trilogy. And this book, if you've seen it pop up in a couple of my videos as a book that I've been meaning to get to for a while, now I finally get a chance to. So many of you have probably already read this book. Um, it follows Kaz Brecker and this group that are trying to perform a heist. Um, it takes place in Ketterdam, which is, I believe, a city on an island where the big university of this world is. They don't mention it often in the Grisha trilogy. I think they've maybe only referenced Ketterdam once or twice um, in that whole trilogy. So I'll be interested to see, like, what this one's about, give me a different taste of the world, I enjoyed the characters in the Grisha trilogy much more than the action, and since this sounds like it literally has nothing to do with the Grisha trilogy other than it's in the same world, I think this will be an okay starting point. My next subject is History of Magic, which is to read a book with witches or wizards. So I have been working my way through the Harry Potter series again. Um, if I finish up Prisoner of Azkaban soon, which I probably will, then I might be in the middle of the Goblet of Fire. I might be in the middle of the next one. This does also seem kind of like a cop-out, um, which I know I'm calling that on myself. So don't be surprised if you see me switch this prompt up, like which book with witches and wizards. Um, but if I end up switching this one out, I'll let you know. All right, and then the final prompt is gonna be Transfiguration, a book that features shape-shifting. So I decided to go for it, um, and this is Clockwork Angel written by Cassandra Clare. This is book number one of the Infernal Devices trilogy. This whole TBR does kind of theme around like young adult that I've been meaning to just get through. <laughs> um, and this is one of them. I picked this one up on a whim. Didn't really enjoy the Shadowhunters. Um, novels, the, the six of them. I, I liked the first three and then DNF'd it at book five. Um, but everybody says that this one is infinitely better in terms of the story. And this has some vampires, Victorian, England, London's underworld, shadow hunters, demons, vampires. The vampires are the ones that I'm utilizing as my shapeshifter because I consider that to be shapeshifting. Maybe this is cheating too, but eh, it's okay. <laughs> Um, so yeah, this will be the final book that I end up pick, putting up on my TBR for when I sit the OWLs. All right, so now I'm gonna go catch up on everybody else's OWLs TBRs, everybody's OWLs wrap-ups. Um, if you didn't sit your OWLs in April and feel like joining me, there's nothing official that I'm gonna be doing other than reading these books, but um, let me know what you thought of this TBR and I guess I'll talk to you soon. Twitter, Instagram, at WhatCastWrite if you want to follow along. And Goodreads, that link is always listed down below. You know how these videos end. I'll talk to you later. Bye.